Hello, and a very warm welcome to LNT Royal YouTube channel. Prince Harry commemorated the Rugby League's 125th birthday by hosting a birthday quiz online. He conducted the quiz over video call with Rugby League members, including players, coaches, and volunteers to celebrate the occasion. He also introduced his own special guest, the first black head coach of a major UK sports team, and former Rugby League player, Ellery Hanley. Harry is the patron of the Rugby Football League. Hi guys. Hi. Hi there. All these new different backgrounds, I love that. <laughs> Emily and Gemma, where, where are you? We're just sat in like, yeah, yeah, kitchen, yeah. Fiona, morning, or uh, good afternoon, sorry, where are you? Good afternoon, I'm in my sunroom in Hull. Jordan, Alex, hi guys. Hey, hey, how are you doing? Uh, yeah, we're at, uh, at Kingston Park Stadium in, uh, in sunny Newcastle. That's very nice. Have you guys been locked down in that small room with the fire extinguisher for the last five months? Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, we're, um, yeah, we're the only inhabitants of Kingston Park for the last six months, so we're the first ones in. Yeah, Jim Jones, we've got my little boy, uh, Kurgan. Uh, we're, we're in our little uh, makeshift gym, aren't we? Um, that, that we made during lockdown so we can keep on exercising while my young boys have been off, uh, off school. So we're, we're out of the way, rest it, kids. That doesn't look very makeshift. That looks like really professional. Like, well, you spend... <laughs> yeah, we had the, we had the flood in 2015. At, um, our training ground at the Leeds Rhinos, and a lot of the equipment went into the skip. So, being a resourceful guy that I am, I went into the skip, cleaned it all off, and uh, got a lot of free training gear. In, in the area. <laughs> so, uh, just making more. Of this. Well, firstly, sorry, happy birthday, happy <laughs> happy happy 125th. Um, how has how has the last few months the last five months been for everybody well it, obviously it's been quite different um for us the women's um super league hasn't started back up for us yet so um at the start of lockdown we were just doing like training from home and and um, logging on to zooms and doing home workouts and you, but you managed to be like doing some keeping 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 fit keeping the exercise going keeping your keeping your, your mind fit as well because it, it's it's been hard for, for everybody right yeah, yeah we, we've probably done done more training actually with with being off work and it's given us a yeah. chance to actually be be more full on with, with our training and um fiona how things been for you how's the how's the, the the lack of rugby league we've been quite lucky about six weeks ago the community game could go back in small group activity and we did it gradually with um 12 to open age and then we Put the little ones on training it's not training small group activity socially distance and and jordan alex have you guys managed to be um to get out and about as well and play your part just because you haven't been out there being able to to, to play um you know one thing i love about rugby league and the is well it's the community that it brings together yeah without a doubt it's, you know it's been tough like the season just got got going it for league one and to kind of you know what was really a, sort of looking like a promising year kind of ended so fast, but it brings it all home. You know situations like this and the, the way that sort of communities pull together and, and you know the, the Zoom calls, the, the quizzes going on between community clubs and everyone just getting involved. It it kind of really makes you feel how special kind of rugby league family is. What is the, the what does the history of the game mean to you now that we've now that we've reached the 125th year? And that's a pretty that's a pretty special time and. And as you as you touched on there, it's you know, ha happening during COVID. Obviously, was was never part of the plan. But what does it what does it mean to you? Obviously, you've loved the sport. You continue to love the sport. You're still in very much as part of the community. Every single one of you are. But but Jamie, yeah. what's yeah, what does it mean to you? Well, it means a great deal. Um, you, I think you've hit the nail on the head. I think Rugby League, 125 years ago, was born out of not almost rebellion in that these northern working class communities couldn't afford to play the old game of rugby and miss work on the weekend. So it became a professional game, broke away as a Northern Union. And ever since, I think it's just been this glue that's held these Northern working class communities together. Fantastic. And, uh, and Kurgan, what's, what's the, what does the game, what's the game mean to you? Um, it means a lot to me because um, I, won, I love the sport and uh, I love being around all my rugby mates to support me and also my family, my dad, certainly. I love that. There you see, perfect answer. Um, so it, I've been told that it um, that a, a Zoom call during COVID wouldn't be the same without some form of a quiz. Um, you'll be glad to know. You'll be glad to know that I haven't chosen the questions. Um, 
I've never done a quiz like this before. Um, but the, as I said, I'll just fire the questions at you. It's a set of six, obviously. I don't know I'm happy. I see it seems a little bit unfair. Everybody's in, everybody's in twos apart from Fiona. Fiona, have you got the rest of your family on the other side of the camera? No, uh, it's fine. I've been around the game for 30 years, so I'm not worried. Ooh, I like this. Yes. Look, I, I, if I was you, I'd have, I'd have the rest of my family on the other side of the camera. Uh, first question. I mean, I gotta, I gotta, the pressure's on me now. I've got to make sure I get this right. Um, question number one. Where was Rugby League founded 125 years ago? Everyone looks at each other. Guys, if you don't know this, you may as well just 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 take a walk, really. <laughs> and also you can't whisper because other people will hear you. Yeah. No, it's, a whole, yeah. it's a whole different game. <laughs> Question number two. Which player in 1972 was the first black captain for Great Britain? Also becoming the first black, ca uh, black captain Great Britain had in any sport. I can feel the tension through the camera. <laughs> Question three. Which three tournaments will make up the Rugby League World Cup in 2021? Question four. Who presented the Challenge Cup to the Warrington captain, Chris Hill, at Wembley last year? Fiona, you're a seasoned professional. I can't even tell. You know, you've got like a poker face. <laughs> you're giving, Don't you're giving give anything away. away. You're giving nothing away. No, nothing at all. Uh, question five. What is the name of the world's biggest school's rugby league competition? And question six. Pressure's really on now. Who is the only player to win the prestigious Man of Steel award three times? 85, 87, and 89. <laughs> See, they, they weren't that hard. Did you have answered them? Uh, definitely, definitely one of them. <laughs> I reckon I could have probably answered maybe uh, maximum three, but I would have probably needed some a little bit of help. Let's hear your answers. I'm going to keep a tally. Let's hear your answers then for question one. We put Huddersfield. George Hotel Huddersfield. Yeah, we've also got the George Hotel. George Hotel Huddersfield. Congratulations, you all got that right. Great, great start, guys. Well done. <laughs> uh, num number two. Yes, Clab Sullivan, lovely man. Clab Sullivan. Congratulations, you all got that one right as well. Question three is a reminder, which three tournaments will make up the Rugby League World Cup in 2021? We put the men's, the women's and the wheelchair competitions. Yep, men's, women's and wheelchair. Mm -hmm. Great, well that would have been embarrassing if anyone got that wrong, because I could have got that right. <laughs> <laughs> well done guys. Uh, number four, as a reminder, who presented the Challenge Cup to the Warrington Captain Chris Hill at Wembley last year? We've got you. <laughs> yeah, we put yourself as well. All right, so you were watching it then. Great, well done, you got that right as well. As you can see, I didn't, uh, I didn't make the questions. <laughs> um, number five, reminder, what is the name of the world's biggest schools rugby league tournament? Champion schools. Champion schools. Champ schools. It was this, this seems as though it was quite easy. Or, or not? I mean, did you? Did anyone struggle with any of these questions? No, you seem to have nailed it so yeah. far. A small world, I believe it's a small world. <laughs> <laughs> well, exactly. And then question six. Just before I get your answers, um, I've actually got someone else on the line who might be able to give us a hand because apparently it was the hardest one. Um, it is the man himself. It is. <laughs> Drum roll. Harry, great to see you. There he is. <laughs> hey, Harry, great to see you. No, <laughs> I, I must say, Harry, it's been wonderful, though, for, to have Rugby League in existence all the way from the Huddersfield for 125 years. Because I think a lot of people outside of Rugby League who don't even 
watch rugby league and it's, they'll probably be quite envious of our game because it can bring so many families together, it brings so many people together. It's the community part that a lot of people who might watch rugby league or don't know that much about it, it's that's the, the support structure and I guess the the connection for every single person on this call and across the game. It doesn't matter whether you're whether you're you know in the in the stands, whether you're the groundsman, whether you're a player, whether you're a fan, or whether you're a first you're whether you're the first time watcher, every single person is bound by this by this this family feeling. And I think it's I think it's amazing. There are not there are not many sports that can say that across a vast community. Like 125 years is is is, is a long time um, and only Jamie can say what it was like 125 years ago. <laughs> Watch it, Ellery. Watch it, Ellery. <laughs> it, it, it really is wonderful. What, I, what I've liked over the years from the period of time when I played and um, to now, the change of rules and, and the speed of the game in terms of the rules. Well, I think it's, um, I think I guess uh, from a spectator's point of view, what people really want to see is that speed. Um, you know, the, there's nothing worse than having these long pauses during a during a game that you've paid a lot of money for on a ticket, and that you are and that you want to be sort of connected to through the through the television. So, whichever way, look for me, watching rugby league is it, watching it is exhausting. Um, <laughs> I, I, actually, I I don't know how you do it. I spent ten years in the army. I know what endurance is all about, but it's 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 madness. Full respect to, to anyone that that plays the game. I think it's. I think it's amazing and I think a lot of people would be very jealous not to be part of that community. So we've, got a whole, we've got a whole Rugby World Cup um, coming, Rugby League World Cup in uh, next year. So, you know, I, I, I definitely plan on coming back. I would have been back already had it not been for COVID. So congratulations on, on 125 years. You must be all incredibly proud. But guys, thank you. Thank, thank you for your time um, this afternoon. Um, and thank you for your continued commitment to the, to the game, to your community. Um, and take care of yourselves. Well, well, well done of getting six out of six as well. That was a great effort. <laughs> Please support Growing LMT Royal Channel by subscribe channel. Like and share videos hour. Your support is the motivation for our to produce better videos. Don't stop.